Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Pokemon Coliseum Nuzlocke. I'm Gamestrom, in the last episode, we made it to the Fennec Coliseum where we did some training to finish up our purification and training segment in between Anki and Mount Battle. Currently, our team is looking like we have Swole, Kiki the Medicham, Surfish the Mantine, Puff the Altaria, Timon the Typhlosion, and Gamesto Jr. the Umbreon. So yeah, that's the team. I'm gonna put Surfish up front and along with Puff. Because those two I wanna have get some more experience. Surfish being the lowest level, I have him with the experience share. Uh probably once you reach 35, we'll take that off and just so it's equal for everyone. Or reason I put some people at higher levels than others, which is simply just to get them to evolve. Uh, because I wanted to make sure we had our team as fully evolved as they could be going into the next area. Which is going to be Mount Battle. So, we're going to go do that right now. Which is due north of us. Oh crap, wait a minute, I never healed my Pokemon. I'm gonna make sure I do that, I don't know if I can have access to the healing machine right away in Mount Battle. So we're going to see about that. But just in case I don't, I prefer to have everyone healed up as much as they can. Oh, better. And actually, now that I think about it, can we buy Ultra Balls? I'm not sure if we can. I'm gonna go to a few stores and see if we can buy Ultra Balls. And so now we're, since we're here, we'll check this one and see if there's some Poke Balls in there. If not, I think it's just the Osprey skin. Nope, no Poke Balls here. So I think the next one we should go to the outskirts game. So they have great balls, I don't know that at the very least. I think there's going to be a few shots that we can catch in this next area. Well, I know there's at least one. Oh, uh, Got any other balls? Oh, Ultra Balls and Net Ball and Timer Balls. We get 17 of those. And I'll get 10 Net Balls. And do we have any other types of. I'll go back to Fennec to see if they have any Hyper Potions. We have. Good number of super potions, but with how high our HP is starting to get, I think hyper potions are going to start becoming necessary. The nice thing about training in this game is that you get a lot of money out of it. Super potions. Let's see. I think this guy just has vitamins. Ooh, he has X items. Is that what reduction would be that one? Okay. You know what? Not gonna lie, I'm thinking I might grab a few of these. Just something's telling me they might come in handy. I really don't know, but I have found them to actually be very useful in the past. Just in case of emergencies. Never know when you're gonna need them. Still, don't know where I can get some hyper potions. Maybe the one Aki has some, I doubt it though. I 
Let's see. Oh, they do. I'm just gonna spend the rest of my money on those. Alright. I think we are good to go into the next area now. Time to head to Mount Battle. See what's going on. Thinking about taking my bath, just forget about it. I clear of that place for now. Your mount battle has been taken over by a bunch of cranes that use weird tokens. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, so we do have access to the heat machine over there. No, I'm sorry, but I can't let you in. It's full of thugs, it's dangerous. Oh, you heard about us from Duke? You must be here to save us. You see, it was me who contacted Dookie for help. I didn't think you would get here so quickly. I mean, I was gone for like a day. Like, you can't call that quick. But please be careful, the power of their Pokemon isn't normal. Well, neither is mine. Confidence, thy name is Gamestone. And I really have no reason to have that confidence. Oops, hold on, are you mistaken? Something? All training has been put on hold. You really must, sure, I'll battle you. Ryder Turo. Sounds like Churro. Now I'm hungry. Trapping and a number. Surfish and pop down. I'm going to go bobe into that Numo, and I'm going to drive and write that down. That actually did a lot more than I expected. And we got the paralysis on it. Cool. Alright, Numo's down. And that was a qualified to bowling, so I was not really expecting anything less. Sandrew's up next. That's another one we should be able to take out easily. Sand attack. Okay, that's gonna make it a little hard to see, but that's really not that big of an issue for me. Bow so that Sandrew, and one more Dragon Breath on that trap. And we got a crit at that. Alright. And Bowbeam should be able to knock out that same crit. And it does. Good, good, good. And not quite level up the surfish. You don't need any training. I mean, I wasn't really here to train anyways, but the training is appreciated. Alright, Master Dacton will reprimand me. Oh, I thought you were just a regular ass freaking trainer. Hmm? Sure took a fall, did he? I could never count on that guy. Well, I just think of it as there being more for me to enjoy. Come on. Okay, let's see what you got. Hunter Drovic. Drovic? Drovic. Drovic. Swine up in Baltoy. Okay, I'm noticing a trend of ground types here. I'm going to definitely get rid of that swine up first, though. Just because I think they have an ice type move, and that's bad for Puff. I'm thinking Puff, I'm going to have Puff fly away. Just in case it does. This should knock out the swine up. Yeah, there we go. Thirty-five for surfish. 
large amount of suffering. That's a rock type. That's slightly more concerning. And you're just trying to mudslap a flying type. That's not gonna work. Alright, we do about half of that ball type required. That's pretty alright damage right there. And we crit, so that's not gonna have the lava card for sure. Cosmic Power, that's gonna be a slight bit of an annoyance. But I don't think it's gonna survive the next onslaught of attack we got for it. Go with Dragon Breath and Bolt Beam. And Bubble Beam! Now, right, well, that Bolt Titan is definitely dead. Alright, this is working out pretty good so far. Alright. Uh, 592 for winning. I'm going to get a reprimand too. Okay. What's going on? Both Terra and Dropic went down? That's weak. I'm not going down that easily. Alright, Ryder, Kim. Percy, I originally read that my head is Kermit, and I got real happy. I have a sandstorm and a Geodude. Alright, then go Obeam on that Geodude. And I'm going to fly away just in case. There we go. Nummo. That's another one we can just bow beam easily. Swift. That's gonna hit. Well, with the except draw tight to speed up in the air. That's not doing a whole lot of damage. Grand Swift is not a particularly strong move to begin with, so... Alright, I really should have equipped that, just because Sandra is pretty defensive, and Altaria does not have great physical attack. Alright, so I'm almost down. Swift. Ooh. All right, bow beam and dragon breath. Yeah, I'm noticing though, frankly, that uh, our team is a little um flying heavy. I went down easily. Just today, I'll back off easily. Food. That feel you've already defeated? If I liken them to food, they would only be hors d'oeuvres. Real battling begins now. Rider, Rider. Real nice name you got there. Ball toy and pine club. Alright. So I think I know what I'm gonna do here. I'll probably ball beam that ball toy and fly on that pine club. I swear to god that pine club is like freaking explosion mode. I would not put it past this game. And fly. Technically, either of these can have explosions. But since they're not protecting, I'm going to figure they don't. Because normally, if you're fighting someone who's going to use a move like that that hits their own partner, the partner will have protect with it. Hounder. 
Okay, it's doing rock smash. Interesting move. Bobin should also take out that hound door, no problem. Hopefully Slide takes out that time but I'm not sure of that. I think Dragon Breath will win. Rabbit. Ooh, that's spooky. That's real spooky. I think we'll outspeed it, but that is a very strong Pokemon compared to what we have seen before. With that being the case, I'm going to fly away. I think Bubbling with it being quad effective will knock it out, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, we do, thank god. Going to tackle and it keeps going after Puff. Which I am okay with. Alright. Be a rider rider. Please no. Got 370 for winning. The real guy begins after me. I have a feeling that's the boss. Because it's usually either at 5 or 10, we deal with a really strong trainer. So I'm gonna run back and heal real quick. And I also devise a strategy if it is the guy who I think it is. Because I know two Pokemon on his team, neither of which are gonna be great. Whatever the situation, I won't abandon my duties. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon set. Restore your pattern Pokemon to full health. Alright. So. Given the next time what I'm thinking he's gonna do. I'm gonna have to switch Puff out. I'm gonna send in Game Stud. Game Stud is the bulkiest that we have. And then I'm going to buff the pair of them to holy hell using those X items we just bought. I know that won't protect against crits, but I have a reasoning for this. You'll see why when I get up there. If it is the guy that I think I'm, I'm thinking of. Pretty god, I'm right. Okay, nope, it's not him. So for now, Puff is gonna go back in front again. I legitimately thought that was gonna be the guy. It's so fair that I healed rather than not. Wow, you've come a long, long way from home. You should be proud of yourselves. Prepare for a thrashing. I never miss target once I set him in my sights. Hunter Tellion. A lot of hunters in here. Trapping some the leaf. Okay. That lily's gonna be a bit of a pain. I'm gonna bubble beam that crap in. Now I'm going to fly away from that loot to see what it does. I think Bulbin will knock out the package. Barboach. Okay, going for a sandstorm. That's going to be a bit annoying. I'm going to get rid of that, um, Lily first. I see it as the bigger threat. Got both flying bubble beam. And it only does that much. Oh. 
Spark? Barbos can learn Spark? Oh, Jake! Why can Barboach learn that? That's such a stupid move for a Barboach to have. Okay. I'm getting surfish out right now, because I'm not dealing with that today. Jesus Christ, why is a Barboach called Surf? Not Surf Spark. Right, I'm gonna go with Swole. And that's my best bet in this situation. And I'm going to Dragon Breath that Lily. And Dragon Breath. Spark. So he's trying for that again, but he's not going to do too much to Swole, thankfully. That's frankly okay. That seems to be getting annoying real quick. I'm gonna make sure that I knock out that Lily this turn. I know it's not gonna be very effective, but I'm gonna go with strength. I think the combination of these will be able to knock it out. I think just the one would have, but I'd rather be safe from sorry when it comes to this thing. Because I'm not too scared of that barboach now that I have uh, Surfish out of the battle. But really, that spark, under normal circumstances, would not have been much of a problem to anyone but Surfish. What the magnitude? Eight. Okay. Doesn't look like tough. First the trap in July. The question is, is there anyone who can take them? Okay, server might, but I don't want to say anything because it's got a really low map HP. Moan couldn't, Kiki might. I'm gonna switch in game skill. Crap, it's got a arena trap. Okay, with that being the case, I'm gonna leave knocking them out. Frankly, I'm gonna just let the, the school do this, take that trap in, and then I'm going to just use a turn a super potion one. Just, I don't want a chance of getting knocked out by that, another match. So it goes for like a manager 10, that's gonna be trouble. There we go. So we only have to deal with the one attack. See, this is kind of what I was talking about. Thank God doesn't look like puff. And now the sandstorm's gone, so now we can just wreck shot. There we go. Now the Dragon Breath will definitely knock him out. Alright, that is what I'm talking about. And we can do go back and heal again. Defeat Plet Hunter Defeat Hunter Talia. Jesus, I cannot read. Target got away. Well, I mean, your target's still here, you just can't do anything about it. And actually, me, I really won't win this game. Alright, back to the Pokemon Center. Oh, wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? There we go. I'll bet. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. 
I am going to bring someone in as fodder. Let me think. This is part flying type, right? It is. It's bug flying, so it's not really going to help too much in this scenario. But, considering who I think we're going up against and what I know is on his team, as much as I really want to use Timon, Timon will get murdered in this battle. Like, these first two areas are not good for Timon, but Timon is by far the best fire type you're going to get access to. So I am not willing to lose him before we need him. And you guys will see why I put him in the box once we get to the guy. And once we start battling him. I think it's coming up. Dang it, no it's not. Where is this guy? This might be I have to do it next time. Hello, hello, hello. If you want to get by me, you have to watch my performance. Okay, let the show begin. Great performer Norts. Captain and Spinda. I can handle this. Oh, we on the Spinda, and Puck is going to fly at that captain. Yeah, I, I know it's like really unfair to imagine that I'm not going to bring um, Timon into this battle, but frankly, I need him to stay alive. I cannot afford to have him die here. Because I actually legitimately need him for a later battle in this Nuzlocke. Like, emphasis on need him. <laughs> so, yeah. I am going to just make sure that he survives. In other fights, it's not that big a deal, but literally, there's nothing he's going to do except be able to die in this fight. Like, just from what I know is going to be on this guy's team. I only remember two members, that's all I remember. But of those two members, Timon will not be able to do jack squat. So thank god the spin is not, like, doing anything real nuts. And that side is annoying, but it's nothing really too bad. However, that Kadabra could be an issue. I'm going to use Bobby and that Kadabra. And I'm going to get Puff out. Just in case, I'm going to send in Gangster Jr. Because if either of them use a Seki type move pain towards um, Puff, those are going to be um, ineffective because Gangster Jr. is a dark type. Future Sight. Of course, he's going to be gone. Okay, let's see if we can take this bow before that future I can come to fruition. Just for my own safety, I'm going to surfish out and then send in Kiki. Because I don't think they'll be able to affect it, and I'm going to use Fight on that Kadabra. Just in case that Kadabra has something crazy like, similar to that Barboach having freaking spark. Did you say future set? I think it's in three turns that the future sites come back. And I think we should be able to knock this fight out by then. Okay, that's fine. Alright. Just gonna double up on that spin nut, and I think we should be able to knock it out with this. And the banking. Thank God, before the future sites came back to bite us. And we're gonna go back and heal again. Well, I'm gonna walk up the stairs just a set, just to see if I can see who's up there next. So I feel like we gotta be in close to this guy. Okay. What's our health looking like? Yeah, I think we can handle this one. Worst comes to worst, we switch out. All six were defeated? Sheesh. 
Bortles and Compton's doing. This is where the buck stops. So this episode, I'm just gonna get to the grunts, and then we'll start off the next episode getting with the big boss. Rattler and Debrava. I think we can handle that. I'm pretty sure Debrava counts as a dragon type now, so I'm gonna dragon breath it. I'm pretty sure Bulbing will not get out. Sturdy, I think, only works on uh, one hit KO moves in this generation. Right, it is part dragon type once it evolves. And we have a paralysis up, so nice. And bubble beam. That should knock it out. It's good. I mean, it is four times effective, so. Sand Slash is up in this. Again, that's another one I think we can knock out. Ooh, no. Rudders. That being the case, Surface is still going to use Bull Beam. Actually, you know what? I'm going to call Surface out. And in its place, I'm going to send in Swole. I'm going to Dragon Breath that Bravo one more time just to get it out of here. Before I can use another rock too. There we go. And rock two. Using two, but it was going after okay. So it's a good thing for sure that I switched out. But I don't think in any circumstance, if I would have kept um, Surfish in, I think in every possible outcome, they would have died there. So we're going to go after this thing. And I'm going to have Puff fly in case it goes for a rock to on it. It's going for a dig. What I do here is there, I can just switch Swole out, send in Surfish, because it's part flying time, so it's not going to hit. Yeah, I know Puff's gonna miss. That's fine. So I'm folding, and then I'm going to take the turn to heal up Surfish. And we go first! Oh, oh, we didn't knock it out, are you kidding me? Ugh. Alright, well, Surfish is going to switch out with Swole again, just in case. So I prefer not to take the chance on this thing. And we're just going to Dragon Breath it. Thirty-seven, Surfish. Another in the triple digits, finally, for health. Alright, that's... That, I think that's the last grunt. I put an end to it. I'm just gonna walk up the stairs slightly and check. You made me lose. They're not going to hire me again after this. Okay, well, there's another peon next. I'm gonna go back and heal. But yeah, this episode I'm going to make sure I get to all the... As you know, we're already at 35 minutes. I don't know if it goes all the way to 10. So I'm going to go back healing at the end of the episode. Then I'll just take care of the rest of the next time. I wish we had a item that would like give a boost to the water type moves coming from Surfish, though. Alright, oh, heal me up again.
All oh, right, that seemed a lot quieter than usual. All right, so that's everything from me. Because I'm not sure what else I can do here. So, in the next episode, I am going to head up those stairs again to take on that next grunt. And, yeah. That's pretty much all I have planned for the next episode, because I have no idea what happens after that. Because after that, beyond here, like the rest of the game, until the finale area is fuzzy for me. So, we're just going to have to play that by here. And that's all I've got, so please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, it helps me out immensely. And I will see you guys on the next Pokemon Coliseum Nuzlocke. Catch you later.